Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatches Nut here today and I have with me Studio Series 86 Transformers the Movie Perceptor and um, he's a deluxe figure which I, I guess makes sense when you think about scale but of course he turns into a uh, microscope which I mean for a mini microscope at human scale I guess it's okay mass shifting aside um, and, but he's also somewhat mobile so I, I thought that was interesting because that's a concept that Transformers has explored a few times on alternate takes of Perceptor. So when we get back, we're going to check this guy out. And here we go. Here's Perceptor here. Now before we take a look at the figure, let's uh, take a closer look at the box. We're going to move him over next to Blaster. And the box is... A hybrid of the previous Studio Series boxes and the the new better for the environment boxes that uh, they have for the mainline. Uh, so we see the Studio Series icon, iconography. Iconography. I'm not going to say that word right today. So iconography. There we go. Okay. So here's Perceptor in his you know, normal form, which is what we got here. Then here's his microscope form, and then a kind of a tanky form and then he does have a background here and I'll show you the change they made for Studio Series in a sec. So um, what they did was they got rid of the plastic inside and they created like kind of a duplicate paper cardboard inside so it, it just insert so you don't end up getting um, like this with holes in it it creates an insert so the image stays intact as you see here and uh, th that is actually pretty interesting because um, if you've seen the reviews of the core class the first ones that got this type of packaging uh, in studio series um, I did not realize that they had done this behind this but this is just a way better way of going and uh, greatly appreciate it help the environment um, and you will notice that there is still a plastic cover here so kind of best of both wor both worlds because I and I sure I believe this opinion is shared with another uh, just a, a group of reviewers without this shield here you're basically asking for shrinkage or in other words theft anyway also comes with instructions which are okay didn't really need them this figure is not difficult to transform and of course here's the don't hurt yourself paper and uh, we're gonna clear this out and we'll move on to looking at the figure so uh, Perceptor he looks fairly movie accurate which I appreciate I've never had a Perceptor until um, I think January I, I got this guy here from the reveal the shield uh, from a friend and um, it was more of a I kind of wanted a Perceptor that has an alt mode unaware that this guy was going to come out with some type of I want to say tank mode if you can call it that but anyway as you see he, he looks like the legit character from the, the TV show slash movie and the the complaints I have are here is simply this and there's no wheels there is no they, they give you tank treads but no wheels that is generally my complaints on this figure the weird joint in the knees it bothers me but not enough for it to be a deal breaker uh, none of these levers work I'm not even quite sure this lens works but I have a uh, ocular issue so I can't really see through it and maybe it does work it's just because I don't have 20-20 vision maybe I can't see through it but there's clearly glass in here on both sides which tells me there is some intent to fake it and uh, overall I mean he looks pretty good it comes with a gun and everything else is just attached to him and we'll put it, that gun aside here and We'll take a look at the uh, reveal the shield figure and again they're both ducks uh, deluxe classes but you quite see where they this guy is super simple compared to this guy now this guy turns into some type of snow vehicle which is really appreciated again i wanted a vehicle mode for him unknowing that he was going to have something kind of a tank like form but again no harm no foul not a loss this guy just has a butt ton of kibble which is uh, just a whole lot of kibble and it makes it really difficult to transform him because it's super picky about it but uh, Moving him aside see if I can even get him to stand up. Oh, well, that's okay uh, Here is blaster studio uh, not studio series kingdom You can see blaster depending on where you get him 
and um, he is a, I believe, accurate size. He's, of course, a Voyager class, deluxe class, Voyager class, deluxe class. And uh, Blaster is done all right. There's, I mean, there's little holes here, but uh, he is definitely worth the, the price of admission. I would complain more about Perceptor, except I paid less than the MSRP. Thank you, uh, Amazon or whatever. Or I, maybe I paid the MSRP. Either way, not too bad. So, we're going to put him aside since we've seen the comparison here. And I think the next step we're going to do is transform him. Now, he has two modes. Uh, as I mentioned, he has like kind of a tank mode and he has the, the, the microscope mode. And you can kind of go from one to the other. And I'm going to try to do that. And simply put, uh, like with most figures... His hands do fold in. Now, mine are particularly tight joints here, and I don't hate it. That's that's fine. It just took a little... I'm afraid to break the thing, so it takes a little bit of effort. Uh, another thing is his legs kind of scope out like this. And there is... Other than friction, it doesn't seem like there's anything holding him together when you do this. And you need to fold at that sideways knee that I question. Really do question it. Uh, but then... Once you got that done, there are these clips here that you have to pull off, and you got to flip the arm 180 degrees around like this, pull this down, and pull this down, and pull this cannon out, or cannon, microscope, whatever, depending on the purpose, and his head turns 180 degrees, goes into his back. And you, you it's kind of like with Blaster with the handles, you have to kind of get these pieces to match up to lock the, the middle piece in place here. And it folds like this. And now um, these handles kind of rotate like this. They want to be on the sides. And these, these little bits here that clip in, uh, I don't know if you can see it very well in here. But if you do it right, they'll clip in. And... Ugh, and I'm not doing it right. Ha! Ah. Got one. There we go. Got him. So just straighten them up. Then you pull out the tray. And here is the microscope form. And it's just rather straightforward. The, the instructions say 20 steps. And I actually did on a live stream with a casual toy collector did count. And it is... 20 steps if you follow the instructions. Um, I, whenever I do one of these things, I try to kind of abridge it, and maybe there's an easier way to go, but you, they're generally correct. It's because uh, sometimes it's just easier by memory to transform it your way, and um, you don't always, you know, transform it the way the instructions say. So the tank mode, as it were, is kind of a weird flippy thing. And um, you essentially just flip the legs all about like this and fold this down. Now, in, in the legs are these little holes for these pegs that are here on the arms. And you're simply just connecting them together. Oops, make sure the pieces stay intact. Mine wants to pop out. And this is supposed to be the tank mode. And, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I, 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 mean, I guess you could do this if you wanted to. But I, the picture says this. It is... It's disappointing. There is no fake wheels here. There is nothing that makes it seem more of a tank. And I'm trying to remember, like, um, there was the Machinima series where I, I think they gave Perceptor... A kind of a mobile mode that was I don't know if it was this one exactly but I swear it was better than this and um, it's just not uh, it's really hard because you remember the 86 movie and you go man that that is Perceptor but then when you get the toy in hand and they give you this this mode this alternative mode and it doesn't it, it isn't it isn't filling me with joy I guess I mean, because 
every almost everything other than Blaster here in the War for a Cybertron toy line has this um, alternate Cybertron aesthetic and for him of course his studio series is based on the movie so it's an earth mode I, I don't know I, I, it, it, compared to everything else being a vehicle he feels out of place and I, I guess I'm having a hard time mentally differentiating that now I would transform the other Perceptor to show you the, the, his form, but it's it's a truck. They, they don't compare. They're definitely different sizes. And um, same thing goes for Blaster. So there's really no comparison on these two guys. But I can show you what a leader class looks like. And here is Grimlock. So do with that information what you will. And that was Studio Series 86 Perceptor. As I've gotten used to everybody having a vehicle form, it's just him and Blaster kind of throw me off. And I really would, I get not Blaster not playing actual tapes or anything, uh, but he, at least he has the tape gimmick. I think what they really should have done with Perceptor is at least give you some type of adjustment so you can make the microscope work. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm not expecting scientific levels of accuracy but i would have loved to have been able to stick a little item in there and, get, and you know focus up like one uh, two times or four times or whatever i if, i don't know i guess i'm asking too much but let me know what you think about perceptor uh, do you have better feelings about him than i do let me know in the comments thank you for watching and please remember to like and subscribe